The Jeep Wrangler Rubicon is one of the most capable factory off-road vehicles currently on the market. And while Jeep has applied some new technologies and features to the latest generation model, there is no mistaking that trademark exterior design. At the front are some new LED headlights, daytime running lights, and LED fog lights down below. You might also spot the new front guards, which now feature a curved panel to make it look more muscular and less boxy. Around at the back are some LED tail lights that switch to an hourglass shape, with the spare wheel mounted traditionally on the side hinge tailgate. Going for the Rubicon version adds the famous Rubicon decals on the front guards, while the 17-inch alloy wheels are wrapped in chunky off-road focused tyres. It doesn't matter how modern some of the features are, the Wrangler retains a heavy-duty live-axle suspension setup underneath, both at the front and rear. Most of the hardware is tucked up high under the body too, with protection plates covering the vulnerable stuff. Climbing inside, and you really do have to climb up to get in, the latest Wrangler is a fun place to be. There's lots of character and attention to detail in the design, with macho controls and levers, big grab handles for off-roading, and splashes of red in the case of the Rubicon. Surprisingly though, it is quite practical in here too. There's an 8.4 inch touchscreen packed with everything you'd expect on a modern SUV, with the Rubicon also equipped with an Alpine 9 speaker stereo. Passenger space is respectable, and it is comfortable in here, so long as you don't bump your head on the obvious roll bar system. Rear passengers are treated to multiple USB ports, a 12 volt socket, rear climate vents, and even speakers on the ceiling. Well, on the roll bar system. There's also ample boot space in the back with adjustable tie hook rails and a 12 volt socket adding convenience. This example features the turbo diesel engine option. It offers strong torque, which is great for off-roading, and it's surprisingly refined, smooth and economical. Be sure to head over to the written review linked in the description for more on its off-road capability. This is what it goes like. 